What do you think? Pressure. Yeah, change the What do you think? I just want to know. Do you think you think you agree or disagree with the statement? Women deserve less. Change my mind. Yeah. Absolutely not. Okay. Why do you say that? Because if without women, okay. where would everyone be? Like, would you I mean, be with, here without? With that a argument, woman? you could say you need a man to impregnate, be impregnated. So. I mean, maybe we only need one because your sperm, you have enough sperm to impregnate millions of women. Yeah, that's true. But the point I'm trying to make is, is that women deserve less because there's a bunch of reasons for that. Why? Well, the problem is that men pedestalize women too much, and whenever you pedestalize women, what ends up happening is they don't have respect for the man. They don't want to be in a relationship with the man. And that's why we have the situation we have now where we have high divorce rates, women are single, they're childless, etc. It creates a lot of problems. No, I don't think You don't agree? That. I do not agree. I okay. think that... What did I say that was incorrect then? What do you not agree with? That you put us on a pedestal and then we kind of dehumanize. You, you don't agree that men, majority no, men you, criticize women? That you know, I don't I don't feel that way. I don't feel like really? we're put on a pedestal enough. Enough. And then enough. And then I feel like once you do, and then also, I mean, it's there's multi-layers to this. Okay. Don't, don't do that. So don't you, you got to understand the way you feel versus what's real are two different things. You can say you don't feel like women are pedestalized enough, but I would argue that they are. Because the majority of men are suckers and simps, aren't strong, aren't leaders, and they pedestalize their woman, they follow their woman's lead, right? We have this phrase, happy wife, happy life. I would argue, happy king, happy kingdom. Because when a woman, woman's in a leadership role and she's being pedestalized, she doesn't respect her man, and that creates problems. I feel like happy king, happy kingdom, I do agree with that. I feel like it's equal. Like, we have to, you women have to You think men and women are equal in a relationship? 100%. Because men and women are not equal. I At mean, all. however, we should treat each other equally really? and bringing, yes. All right, let me ask you a question. Do you prefer a man that's taller than you? Do I prefer a man that's No, I don't that's mind. If I no. was to create your dream man, would you prefer a man that's taller than you? No. I prefer a man that treats me right. Huh? I prefer a man that treats me right. Now, a man that treats you right? Yes. Okay. We have the same core values. All right. Let, let's assume you guys have the same core values. Would you prefer a man that earns more money than you? No, as long as we are happy. Are separate. you single? No, very married. You married? How long have you guys been married? Three years. Who's the leader in that relationship? Us. Who's the decision maker, him or you? We both make decisions. We sit down and we have conversations. Really? Yes. He, he defers to you? He doesn't. Because there's got to be one decision maker. No, we sit down and we find, we list out everything that, like, what, are, what is it? If there's a disagreement, who makes the final decision? I feel like it's a combination of both of our thoughts and feelings on the situation. See, that's problematic. Why is it? Yeah, because whenever you're on the same footing as your woman, right, she's mm -hmm. going to think she's equal to you. When your woman thinks that she's equal to you, she thinks she can step to you and talk to you in a certain way, and she has authority over you. That's a problem. Now, I don't believe that. And any time like a woman feels respect. as though she has authority, she starts to disrespect the man. That's why we have such a high divorce rate. We have problems in relationships because men don't understand that you're supposed to be the leader. You make the decisions your way or the highway. You should be able to hear her perspective, sure. But there needs to be a final decision maker. No, there are times where his logic is better, um, my logic is better. When we come to an agreement, more of what I say, more of what I say. It has to be a leader because if you're a husband, 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 hus
for his women to follow him. All right, so if you're going to use the Christian role, then in that one, the man is absolutely the leader. If Women he, have almost no say. No, it's following Christ. That's the thing. Yeah. If he is following Christ, how he's supposed to be following Christ, if he's reading his Bible, if he's in his word, you know if he's praying, then the women will naturally leave. You know what's interesting? But in a, Almost every religion and every society on earth that stood the test of time has the man as the leader, not just Christianity. But what does that tell you? But again. Whether it's Christianity, Islam, Judaism, Hinduism, whatever it may be, the man is always a leader. Right. And how is it that in ancient society back in China, and then you look at society here in the West, right, in England, whatever it may be, or the United States when we colonize, whatever, why is it that all these different societies that never spoke to each other before modern technology all knew that men need to leave? But here's the thing, but how are you leaving? Wait. You can't expect me to follow you if the bills aren't sure. paid, if there's not food on the table, sure. if our kids are not taken care of, if we're out here struggling, you cannot expect for me to follow you. But that wasn't the point being made. The point yeah. is that men need to leave and it's not equal. That was, that's it. I so you agree? No, I don't agree. You do agree? You, you look, um, okay, does she want to go? She has a husband. I okay. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, we got people waiting. We got to, like, get them in and out. You know what I mean? Quick. Uh, they're arguing with you, too? What, what are they saying? I'm, I'm schooling. Are oh, you schooling them? Now, are you schooling us? Now, I have taken care of my man. I told them why they deserve less. I tell them. Oh, you told them? No, no, you did not. What did he tell us to deserve less? I'm going to ask you again. Now, are you going to take care of man? Financially. It depends on the situation. Man, let's count, man. My husband was out on disability and could not work, so I took care of him. If I meet him and he's a well-bodied, able man, hell no, I ain't taking care of him. I'm not taking care of no man that's well-bodied, able. I will give you that. Why would I? Are you going to do it? I will give you that. Are you going to do it? provide what? mentally, uh, physically, financially, oh, why is it even an issue? Because the same way that Sorry, you, you get out what you put in. If you're not putting in nothing, you don't get nothing. I get that. That's just as simple as that. Are no, me, yes, men are different in the Everything fact. you looking at, men do it for women. We do it to build. No, y'all don't. But you, sure. not, yep. No, y'all do it for the fact of when it's another woman walking across the street so y'all can look at her act. Oh, shit, oh, your dog biting? Is your dog biting? Yeah. Is your dog biting? You get out what you put in. If you don't put in nothing, you don't expect to get nothing. Because here's the thing. As women, we are already nurturers. Who do you prefer? A man to take care of you or you to take care of a man? I prefer we take care of each other. I guarantee not. So let me ask you this. Who raised your hand? Your woman? Yo, or do you go out here and put that money in? Okay, see, that ain't no problem. That's the problem. That ain't no problem. They deserve less of a man. That is a problem. Do you have any dinglings do you got? You got one, which means it belongs to but one get woman. All pregnant in no, one you, you could. I can't get all y'all pregnant. You could. Right? No, because my tubes are tied. No, that's should belong to one woman. Yeah. You out here trying to please a whole bunch of women, you can't 100% give it to one woman because you out here trying to divide yourself no, on one woman. I'm not attached to sex like that. What I you attached to women? I got my girl at home, which I got more, but if I got, if I had one, I can sleep with all y'all, I'm still going home. And she's well, then she's a, she's a weak woman. She's a weak woman. She's a weak woman. She's not weak, she just has a weak man. I'm trying to. I'm trying to say, what? The way it works is, I can sleep with, I can sleep with 30 girls, but I'm gonna always go home. But it doesn't matter how good you are. I'm gonna always go home. But let me tell you the difference. If you sleep with another guy, 
you gone. See, see, and that, that, and that is the why I think you're Am I right, though? No. no. That is how it is, You know how easy? Girl, that's Listen, the easiest way to get over one dude is to get underneath of another. So don't ever think. So don't ever think. So don't ever think. Don't ever think I'm two cornrows that's ruling the street, Bookie, because the same way that you can go out here, You'll see the same way. People? No, but here's the you thing. You to sleep with multiple people? No, but do you? Of course I do. So then, the moment that the with? moment that you do is the moment that I do. I, I guarantee y'all, y'all won't do one thing. How many people y'all slept with? That don't matter. You ain't gonna tell me. It don't matter. You know why? Soul ties. You know why? Soul ties. Because you know how many people, people are you soul tied to? If I say how many, I how say how many, many are you soul tied to? Soul I'm tied to? a king if I say how many. Come on now. In your mind. No, ain't no in my mind. How many people? Listen. No, 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 no. How many people has your mama's? Listen, that ain't got nothing to do with it. It do got a lot to do with it. If I go over there and there's 30 girls over there, guess what I'm going to attract? Two. Nothing but women. Two, because your mouth. But if I go over there with 30 Your mouth holds no you, son. Your mouth has no value. They ain't worth a damn. Are you married? I'm about to be. Your mouth holds no value, though. You can't specific. You can't expect to get a woman with the way that you talk. You just can't. You know how many women I got? That don't make sense. Give me a second. Tell us what you think. Come on. Why are you scared? No, nah, they're scared. It's it's all good. It's okay. No worries. Okay. People are terrified. So, yeah. Someone said the Shaniqua apocalypse. Yeah, 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 yeah. It is, okay. it is a certain apocalypse if you guys know what I'm saying. Now y'all know why me and Fresh don't come out here. Yeah, bro. Now you guys fucking see it. Like I tell y'all all the time. We t- what do we tell you guys on this podcast? Stay away from Miami Beach. That's why. Here we go. Hi. What do you think? Will not deserve less. Yes. Women, yes. I don't think so. I've been married for 28 years and my husband always did the best for me. And my daughter's been dating the same guy for 11 years and he does everything for her. He cooks, he cleans. And she what do you do? I am a housewife and I help my husband. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 she's a housewife. No, 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 I'm a house cleaning also. Okay. I have a cleaning business. Okay, so. My daughter, she's 26 and she's direction of operation. She was double major in college, psychology and communication. You think men care about these things? Some do, I do. Most men don't care about these things. Yeah, more, most. But the good ones, and, the real and, men do. And, and, uh, the ones that don't care. That's a whole other thing. Incredible. Um, See, that, that right there, you just, you can see who is the best in that relationship. Look, 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 guys. See, that, that right there? That is my friends when you are whooped by your, whooped by your wife, guys. And here's the thing, if I was an asshole, right? That could have caused some problems. When you don't have your woman in line and she does dumb shit like that, could create problems for you. It kept tapping me. I don't know why. It was weird. 